All right, the weighted mean is going to be our GPA. And what goes on here is that it says the weighted mean of an n numbers. And once again, we see the x sub 1, the x sub 2, and so forth, all the way to x sub n, are weighted by the respective factors. And that's your f. So each, each variable is going to have a different factor or weight. And then we divide by the total weight. OK, so let's take a look at an example of that. OK, so it says, in a common grading system for finding a grade point average, a, a grade is assigned four points, a B grade is assigned three, two for a C, one for a D. Find the grade point average by multiplying the number of units for a course by the number assigned to each grade, and then adding these products, finally divide the sum by the total number of units. This calculation of a grade point average is called example of a weighted mean. So this is how your grade's been graded. You've been weighted and um, graded on all your stuff all your life, whether or not you knew how to do it or not. Um, so let's take a look at what they do here. They, they've created a nice table for us to see um, what we're trying to point out. We see here that if you get an A in this particular class, it's um, four points. And that particular class is a five-unit class. Whereas in the history class, um, that person earned a B, and that particular class is a three-unit class. In the health class, is only two units. In the art class, is only two units. And that makes sense, right? I mean, you're, when you're in college and you're doing stuff here, your different classes have different weights. They're not all three credit hour classes, let's say. All right, so what they do down here is they come down and they're starting this problem off for us, and they're telling us, okay, well, we scored an A in the math class. So we take that, and we have five units for that class. We multiply them together, our grade points times our units. And that right there is where we're taking our x times our f. So that's our x times our f. And then they have our x times our f, and our x times our f, and our x times our f. So we find the product. So now we've done the numerator. So let's go ahead and write that down and show everyone what's going on at this point. So there's our formula. Now we take our values and place them, put them in there. So, um, all right. So in the math class, we made a grade of an A that gave us four points. It had a factor of five. Plus, in history class, we made three points or a B. It had a factor of three. Plus, in health class, we made an A. So that's a four. It has a factor of two plus. Um, let's see, in our class, we made a C. <laughs> and that class has a factor of two. And all of that is going to be over the sum of the factors, which is five plus three plus two plus two, which came from right here. All right, so with that said, now we go through and simplify our formula, which I'm going to do. So our weighted mean at this point is 20 plus 9 plus 8 plus 4 divided by 12. One more step. That last step is what they have written at the top there, and that's going to be our weighted mean is equal to 41 divided by 12, which is equal to... 3.42. Um, so that's my GPA, my 3.42 GPA for that particular semester.